Do you like Atari or retro games in general? Do you want this nostalgic, old-school gaming experience in your home? Well, or do you want to gift it to somebody who wants it? Well, look no further. There's a new Atari Raspberry Pi 3 gaming kit. Everything you need, including the software, all in one place. So if you're new to the scene or you want to check this out, I've, I've teamed up with Micro Center for this video. They've sent me their new Atari Pi kit. And it is by far one of the easiest kits to start retro gaming as soon as possible. This was hooked up by Micro Center. They're doing a lot more retro gaming stuff. And they asked me if I'd be interested in doing a video with this particular kit. And I said, yeah. If there's a pie involved, I'm game. So when this is all set up and everything, as I mentioned, you get everything you need. You get the computer and the games. The games come in a little micro SD card that is now in the Raspberry Pi. Think of this like a hard drive. We put our hard drive into it. Um, it has everything else already there. You just need to go to a monitor, power it on, and then here is your controller. Now, when you add all this stuff up and you look at the quick start guide here, um, you're saving about 10 to 20 percent on all by buying all this at once number one number two you get the great packaging so it's really I think the biggest um, you know clientele for this is going to be gifting um, and then people who like to tinker and then also those who just really like Atari um, this is so simple to use a lot of the reason why you might have heard of Raspberry Pi before and a lot of people are just like eh, I don't want to mess with it is because there is a slight learning curve and when this SD card is completely set up for you and it automatically extracts and downloads all your content for you that will eliminate a lot of the headache that a lot of new users get when using the um, Raspberry Pi. So with all that said and done, it's a big discount. It's a cool looking kit. So keep that in mind of that the value here. We will eventually get to this point in the video where we'll be playing games and checking out the games on the system. I did want to take a moment to share with you that by buying this kit, you are buying licenses to these Atari games, thus making there no legal issues when you set up this device. Now, a lot of people that do set up the Raspberry Pi do go online and download games and ROMs and Super Nintendo and things like that. And you can absolutely do that if that's what your heart desires. But for the remainder of the video, we're gonna primarily set up this Raspberry Pi and get you to the Atari point where then you can go from there. Um, the main thing you wanna do is just get off the plastic first. You can get a damp cloth or just go at it. Feet, they're like little plungers. You just go like that. Make sure the screw is underneath the rubber so you don't have any metal showing. Let's just start with the base plate. This little divot here to the left and we're gonna go ahead and thread our plungers through. Next is the wood piece, the thicker wood piece. And there's only one way that this is gonna go on. Well, actually it can go on two ways. So the one with the divot, put on your ports here. It only fit on one way. Catch our little placeholder. We could start with these little corner pieces here. And first corner piece on. And then we start doing our L brackets here. One. And then you got your three here. Boom, boom, boom. And now we've got the thinnest black piece. And that just goes over the ports. And you want the divot on the front side here. Next we have the black plate. It's saying the grooves go on the top, not the bottom. So grooves shine up. And then we got the little paper piece right here. And you might be thinking, hey, you're out of thread space. Don't worry, we've got you covered. And then the Atari logo, according to this, goes in the corner like that. Goes in the opposite corner. And then now you've got the nuts. Got my finger on the nut, and then I'm just tightening. And we've got our Atari case. Okay, still get to the micro SD slot, still get to the RAM, you can still wall mount this. You have your ports here, 3.5. You could do audio through the HDMI as well, so you don't really need this port. And you have your power port. This is gonna be for your controllers and your ethernet. This thing also does have Wi-Fi built in. We do wanna take our little micro SD card, 
and plug it into the Pi. You wanna go ahead and click it down, all the way in. It doesn't actually click, but just push it all the way down. You've got power, HDMI, and this goes into here. Make sure the HDMI port is plugged in before you plug in the power, and then the, once you plug in the power, it should automatically turn on. That's pretty cool. So, I'm now plugged in, and I'm not online. I could have plugged in an ethernet cable, and then not have to do this step, but I am going to set up the Wi-Fi, because I have a feeling a lot of you are gonna be running this on Wi-Fi. So, there you go. For <laughs> My neighbor's Wi-Fi is called Hot Pam. And I could technically hook up a keyboard, um, or you can use their own keyboard here. And again, we're not Great Britain. This is GB, stands for Great Britain. If you're in America, which I'm guessing you are because Micro Center is primarily in America, I think it'd be under U, right, US? US, okay. Okay, and then we could do a virtual keyboard. All right, now we gotta go type in our password up here. So I'm all done now, gonna press okay. Now I'm online. And now it finds the image. This is the this is the actual game and system that I need. So I'll go ahead and click the X, and then I'll go ahead and click up here to install. This is all in all existing data. Yeah, that's fine. I'm cool with that. And now we're installing. And depending on your internet connection and how fast this is going, this is going to take some time. So I'm just going to fast forward this part till the end. Later. OS sale that's successfully installed. Looks like there's a reboot, and I imagine this is going to boot us straight into Emulation Station, which is your new gaming front end. All right, and here we go. I believe these games are going to be mixed between Arcade, Atari, and Atari 7800. So, Arcade, what do we got here? We got Asteroids, Avalanche. And so, what you're seeing here is you have a video preview file every time you move down. You can see the logo of the game in the upper right hand corner and you can sh see a quick kind of synopsis you know summary of what the game is all about so these ones are arcade style games you probably recognize quite a few of them atari 2600 you got 85 games you can go ahead and click in here by the way you can also go left to right to just jump around the systems directly from their game lists and so here's all your Atari games, in case you're curious which games are included. Quite a few little games here to check out. And then you have Atari 7800 as well. So I accidentally clicked into the game. <laughs> it's gonna be O, your O button on your PlayStation style controller. This controller itself is fine. All right, there we go. And it looks like it's our D-pad. It's our D-pad to do this. So the plunger was just down, and then, and then to exit out, it's just your your back triggers both at the same time. You also have Atari 7800 as well. Get some color action going on. Oh yeah, what now, max RPMs. Can't catch up to me now. Got my turbo, oh man. Uh, you gotta time that. Um, you gotta time your guns. Level four. So there you have it. If you want to turn off your system, I don't recommend plugging, pulling the plug. The best thing to do is just hit your start button, go to quit, circle button, shut down system. It'll turn off automatically at that point. There's another thing in here, sound settings, if you want to lower your volume within this particular console. You can do that, or you can adjust the volume on whatever 
device you're using. Uh, you do have this thing called RetroPie here, which has some additional settings. The only settings you might need in here is if you want to add a Bluetooth controller or if you want to change your audio. If you're not running audio out of your HDMI port and you want to run it out of the 3.5 millimeter, you can change it here. You can also, if you go to a buddy's house or something like that and you need to set up the Wi-Fi, you can do that here. That's pretty much all you want to get into when you're first starting out. With all that said, welcome to the world of retro gaming. Now I'm showing you this to show you that this is what the Raspberry Pi can actually do. So while you're starting out with Atari, let me know if you're interested to do another video where I can at least get you into Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and some advanced games. And then you can also bling out the actual front end. You're using a carbon theme. You can absolutely install new themes and customize this out to for a truly customized retro experience. But I'll put links in the description for all these things. Thanks again to Micro Center. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.